Dear Obsidian Ants, I need to apologize for the, quite frankly, terrible behavior and multiple attacks that I've made against you on the Frontier forums. Uh, not only recently, but also it seems like a good time now, probably about a year. With this said, while I openly admit the manner of my replies and the things that I've said on the forums are bad, they do have a reason. And much of this can be summarized in the form of some open, honest criticism. In your videos, you are openly critical about Elite Dangerous and Frontier on so many occasions and about so many things. So I feel it is quite fair for you also to accept some criticism. You, like Frontier, are making what I hope is a profit on, the, on content which you create. And so being critical is fair, with the exception when, when that criticism isn't constructive, isn't at all fair, or is overtly negative for the sake of being negative. When, for example, somebody can never be right for the sake of never being right. The same rule applies for this video, except I'm not a content creator that is making any money at all from this, his videos. But despite that, I'll entertain the feedback, and you, a content creator, you also have a very large following, and so as such, your word, if you like it or not, does carry quite a lot of weight with the community. So, some of my negative posts about you on the forums step well into the unacceptable region, and for that, I, I honestly feel a little bit ashamed, childish, and, and also quite sorry. We're discussing a video game after all, I mean, no one should really get that worked up about it. So, um, in the air of constructive criticism and feedback, I'll tell you my opinions and why I believe them to be correct, or at least more right than wrong. I'm totally willing to entertain the idea that I am not right about some of these. After all, open dialogue is better received than forum sniping, and for anybody else who might be watching this, it's me doing the sniping, and um, that's probably a frustrating frustration uh, based on the lack of any interaction with the critical feedback and this around this about this is a roundabout part of the issue just as you in your videos appear to be frustrated at the lack of information from frontier development i am or have been frustrated in the manner in which you don't appear to seek feedback or represent alternative opinion from the community so let's have a look at what I mean by this. And uh, the one thing I should make very clear is a great many people are passionate about this game. You and I are both, it would seem, and that's not being called into question at all. So if you're still with me, strap in. It's going to be a long one, but it's also going to be shorter than some of the recent videos on Obsidian and its channel anyway. So a little bit about myself first. Uh, I'm an old Elite 2 player. Um, I'm too young to really have played or understood the original 1984 release. So that means that while I'm not super old, it means I'm also not a complete noob. I know how the gameplay was in those games. I know a little bit of the lore. And, you know, I have that emotional investment. I'm also in a scientist. And instantly now I realize it makes all scientists look like complete jerks. But the one thing which is common to a lot of us is that we often dwell on logic and the factual, or at least the, the best that we know the factual to be. I can therefore sometimes be accused of white knighting or sometimes being a little bit difficult. But it really, I'm often of the opinion that if we all take a step back, nothing is ever black and white. And it, there's always a reason about around things. And it is this which leaves me in this constant middle ground wanting to sort of try and help people see both sides of an argument. And it leaves me constantly confused and insecure about what is the best course of action in a great many things in general. And I'm not just talking about in game land. I mean, if it was, if I'm only talking about games when I say that, that would make me sound quite psychotic. So, how this relates to Elite and being honestly, admittedly quite rude towards you, I guess I can summarize it as that I built you up in my mind as a VIP member of the community. Someone in who, in those early days, brought lots of people into the game with your brilliant video content and awesome radio voice. And in my mind, I saw that develop and change into a VIP member who appeared to be using his following to stoke the flames of a fire that I don't believe should burn. I realized, taking a step back, that this is probably not your actual conscious intent. But back then, yes, I totally did feel that way. And honestly, in a small way, I still do. I mean, 
this is this is not going to change by me admitting that i've been rude and frankly nasty doesn't change the the reason behind that and in no way have i seen any uh, change in in your videos and your kinds of content you make and so everything sort of still stands so let's be very clear i feel as though sometimes you have spoken in a way that is a little bit irresponsible not being careful with your massive subscriber following in saying the things that you know people will latch onto and repeat, regardless of if they were true or false. This, in essence, is the crux of the issue I have. As the saying goes, with great power comes great responsibility, and if your conscious intent is or not, makes no difference. People will use the things that you say to support their bias, whether it's right or wrong, and hence is my appeal, appeal to be careful. So let's address the two main things. Well, there's actually three uh, that I can, I have already said, but what I've already said should paint a picture and I might expand a little bit on it later. So let's go back into the actual game land and things that have been said and things that I've taken exception to, whether right or wrong, or whether I'm building something into a mountain or not. First, planetary surfaces. I feel objectively that the quality has only ever improved, for the most part. I mean, sure, there's been a few weird detail bugs with ice planets and things that made them look super ugly at long distances. Uh, the ever-changing fog effects. I mean, fog was a was an interesting one, which was removed and then put back in. And in terms of detail and poly count on surfaces, I actually think it's better now than it's ever been. And in fact, I think it was better now. It's been about the same, I should really say, since the later parts of uh, 2.0 or 2.x. It's been a bit of a bumpy ride, admittedly, but surfaces in 2.0 were practically textureless. Not only the only real texture there was a very high resolution sand like texture and cliff edges and, and cliff edges, nothing else. There was quite frankly very ugly, jagged cliff edges in 2.0. And I feel that they then were developed and migrated into steep, but not ugly, uh, pushing towards the later stages of 2.x. I'm also not talking about the very extreme land landscapes which saw back in those early days. I actually really loved those, and I actually thought it was a little bit of a shame when they removed them. But when you said they downgraded surfaces, I don't at all believe that it came across that you were saying they removed some of these really awesome, like, uh, buggy um, um, surface features, and so therefore I see that as a downgrade. What you clearly have said on many occasions is that you think they downgraded the surfaces, and I disagree. I, I really disagree. So, regardless, I latched onto the comments you made in which you seem to state the surface has been downgraded, and I think that's a mis misrepresentation. The only part I could really see objectively to be true was that really super ugly shadow shader, which came in back in 2.1, I think. Ultimately, I think your way of expressing it in your video content on several occasions, just I just took exception to it since it came across as complaining about the same issue or complaining without true backup as to what was well-founded and correct, and painting a negative picture of the developers when it was really not needed. At the time, there was also an undertone of negativity on the forums. I mean, there always is, and it comes and goes a little bit. But your repeated claims of graphics downgrade just seemed to stoke uh, the fire uh, with the people who were saying that the game's console's editions were, were ruining the PC game. And that, frankly, is not true. There's no evidence for that. Frontier Developments have not only achieved something brilliant using the gra graphic shavers, shaders, uh, to generate amazing landscapes, but also a near seamless performance. But they got it to work across multiple platforms and multiple graphics cards and manufacturers. And, and what I saw as interpreted from, from the forums and the community and from yourself stoking it was a never ending, just pure criticism all the time. The only obviously bad part that happened in terms of planets was the beige plague. plague. <laughs> the beige plague 
something that I'm actually really quite glad that you kept pointing out, so thank you for that. Despite us having a little bit of a tit for tat uh, about, and, and content bash on the forums a, a few times, but even when they had indeed tried to do something clever, it was a shame that it had failed. And I didn't ever saw that come across in your videos. You ever gave Frontier any credit for the things that they were trying to achieve. You seemed to only ever give them trouble or backtalk them to say that they were messing up in some way or you were not happy. You were using, I, I sort of saw um, your content around that time and your, I sort of also saw your, your following act as like a virtual fist in, in which to continuously punch FDev. And I felt that it was quite unjust. Like I said, people will latch on to comments that you make, whether you want them to or not, and they will use them to their own ends. So you com constantly complaining or being negative just seems to stoke that negativity on the forums. This is where some of my, my comments about toxicity comes from. And it's similarly on engineering. Now, I know people's opinions differ, and I will openly admit I loved the original system. Um, the reason I loved it is because it most closely matches that of the real world. It really does. And in science and engineering, science and engineering is full of unknowns, and tolerances can greatly affect performances of components and whole systems in a way which is often quite difficult to predict. I mean, two CPUs which come off the same die will have t different power consumptions. I mean, we can't even make CPUs with, with a, which have a, exactly the same performance across a, one single die with exactly the same design. And yet people sit there and say, this is unrealistic. It's simply not true. My constant bickering and pointing towards you is, is not born out of you disliking the original system. More, again, to the misunderstanding and misuse of language that then almost became a meme in the community, causing a tidal wave of near suffocating, suffocating chirping of RNG, RNG, RNG. You know, it's almost like, haha, RNG, that's just like the reason for everything. You have a large following, and as such, I felt your content was unifying the community against the original system without you actually giving a good explanation of why it was bad, except you didn't like it. That's not really a reason. Just not liking something is fine, but should everybody else not like it because you don't like it? I, I disagree. I don't think people should be like that. But we know, you and I both know, people are like that. People often, often have this kind of follower mentality, this cult of personality, where people say something, they trust you, they will follow you. I always looked at your content as being really nice, really fair, and largely unbiased. And then I felt that this was the case where you suddenly hit this standard level of griping, and it turned into a tsunami of hate after a couple of rapid-fire videos you made. Frontier changed the system to something which, in my opinion, is exactly what that chirping and vocal group wanted. They, did, they wanted to have a constant progression forward and a removal of, of this random element. And still, people complain. And I found myself thus very frustrated, thinking, wow, not only did they not want it to be random, but this, despite they changed and not understanding the meaning of the word random, they still aren't happy. FDev are damned if they do and damned if they don't. And this community will kill the game. And you are, Obsidian Ant, part of that community, and you are part of stoking this, whether you think you are or not. That's exactly how I feel, whether I am correct or not. I totally believe we should give crit critical feedback to the developers. We shouldn't let them do whatever they want and think that we, they are correct and they're right about everything. They are certainly not. But being a constant negative tone without there being an offset to bring it back into the middle, I think is quite unfair. And it's very bad <laughs> without really explaining it any more than that. The thing that I will do now is to sort of give you a little bit of an education, whether you really want to listen to me or not. 
is the thing about random numbers, but is that if they are completely random, if you roll a dice, it will land on number one, the same number of times that it lands on number six, if you roll it enough. And that's not what the original engineers was like. The original engineers was deterministic. It was actually closer to something like rolling two dice. If you roll two dice and you add them together, there is a higher outcome of achieving the number seven than there is any other number combination on that dice, those two dice, right? And that's how the original engineers was. And what we call this in physics and statistics is a probability distribution function. We use it all the time. We use it in Monte Carlo simulations to, to um, simulate physics processes because sometimes, yeah, you don't really know um, exactly what's going to happen in, in a physics process, but you do have a model for it which says that any number of these outcomes can happen and there is a certain split between them. And that's exactly what they did. That's exactly what Frontier did. So I thought that you just saying it's random, it's random, it's random, it's random over and over and over again without you actually being correct or without demonstrating that you really understood what you were saying, I thought was irresponsible. I mean, that's, I can't really say it any better. Um, at the time, as I say, things were ticking over on the forums and, and the community was a little bit unhappy, but not particularly angry. And you made a couple of videos in which you stoked the fire, I felt. So I thought it was a gross misrepresentation of reality when the fires got burning, and I placed that responsibility on your shoulders. Now, that probably might not have been your intent. Your original intent was perhaps just to make a video where you're trying to be critical of your, your particular opinion, whether right or wrong. But the point is, is that you have a large following. So, nonetheless, you were the beacon which I could blame, so to speak. Right? This single person I could identify that was stoking the flames and indeed had the ability to stoke it. So to reel, reel that back a little bit and be actually a critical of Frontier, in my own words, they also did a very bad job of communicating the system and how it worked. And the user interface could have actually shown the probability distribution functions. And I feel that the community wouldn't have anywhere near have had a difficult time understanding how it worked if they did that but they didn't. You never said this. You never gave them feedback saying, oh, actually, you know, the outcomes, um, it would be better if we knew the percentages. You never said that once. And if you did, the community might have been like, oh, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, let's shout about that. Yep. So it appears counterintuitive, but random numbers can be used to give fixed outcomes. We do it all the time in simulations, as I said. FDev use it all the time as well. It isn't lazy game design. It's actually much harder to do it than, than not. And it's actually much harder to, to do that than what they gave us in Engineering 2.0. But still, no one ever wanted to defend the developer. Back then, as I say, I saw your content as quite biased and totally at odds with reality. And this apology does not change that. I still think the original system was superior. It gave a greater variance of ships to more and more uniqueness in the, in the galaxy in the game that we play. We have what we have, and we will both remain passionate, I hope, about the game. And finally, the last part is more general, and I feel like I've probably touched it, so I'm a little bit like beating on a dead horse, but in your videos, you always appear to be, quite frankly, negative. All the time. You say collecting materials is too hard, it's too random, Frontier change it. They make it a walk in the park in comparison, and then you still complain that the change is okay, but bad still because it's still random. You get invited to see Frontier Developments in 2017, and you make a video about it, which is about eight, 70 to 80% negative, making some weird comments that the users, uh, that users themselves on the forums stoke the flames that F dev are incompetent. You make a comment that you think that X, Y, and Z content might get added, and the community takes it as though they're going to be added. You continually reference promises that FDev have made, and I'll just say that I don't actually think all of those promises that you claim were actually ever made, at least not openly to the community. 
it is this. Your videos are more negative than they are positive. There is a big bias, bias, and I've and I hardly ever any offset. No, we shouldn't all make these only positive videos saying that ED is perfect and it's the best thing since air, and it's amazing and F ever brilliant and they never make any mistakes. No, we'd we'd be blind and stupid to do that, quite honestly. But that's exactly where my frustration comes from. For someone like yourself, who is so popular and so in with FDev that they actually get invited to visit Frontier, they get the ears of the developers and some juicy scoops and goodies. Why do you sort of, in a way, then continuously sort of shit talk them? That's what I'm, that's what my main gripe is. And you do it with lots of followers. It's like, having a stadium full of people and getting them all to chant. It's easy, so easy to do. I don't really expect these issues to be addressed. It, this hasn't really supposed to be the drama generating exercise. What it is, is a fellow gamer and elite community member giving you some feedback. I don't feel in this video that I've been overly unfair or rude in this recording. I have, however, been overtly rude and overly rude, sorry, on the forums, and I put my hands up and say sorry. I was given some criticism for it, and I will put my hand up and say, yeah, fair comment. Yeah, let me change it. Let me try and make it better. And let me say sorry. So this is why I also have to give you this criticism. If you think that I've been completely wrong or in some of it or all of it, and maybe it's not, you don't feel that it's relevant. That's fine. That's up to you. But both aspects of this remain. I am honestly and genuinely sorry for being a complete jerk on the forums. And me being called out on it, being a jerk, is in no way going to change my general criticism I have. And I hope you take that on board. Just as you continuously claim you hope that Frontier take your criticism on board as well. The cynical side of me feels that you have developed this air of cynicism against FDev in your videos, and it struck a chord with the community. And you feel that you need to maintain that persona to please the followers, if you will, in order to maintain productivity. And that actually, in real life, you're actually quite different, that you're a pretty awesome guy, and you've got a pretty awesome radio voice. So I'll close out this video. I hope you continue success with your channel. I'm sure that it will be. I'm sure that I, if anybody really takes any notice of this video, make, will, make, will make my channel tank. And that's fine. I mean, it doesn't really matter so much. So, good luck and farewell.